I told you, it was impressive. By the way, if you're thinking of learning to fly, that's not the normal way you do it. I think that's in the, the advanced course. So there's going to be more of that smoke blowing around. So Rich puts himself in position to do his 10 minute routine. It's constantly being developed and evolved. Uh, not only does he display in this country, also all over Europe. Um, this display is just amazing. Some of the things that uh, he can do with this aircraft, the control that he has, absolutely stunning. You are in for a real treat this afternoon. So here comes Rich. Pulling up at 20 degrees. It's a negative G tumbling maneuver. Climbing up for a half loop. This is just amazing. The control to do that and the power to weight that this plane demonstrates is just incredible. Almost hanging in the air right now. It is the kind of thing that you look at and think, wow, I'd love to be able to do that. Everybody starts the same way when you learn to fly and it's up to you what you want to do with your flying. You do it recreationally, you do it for a career. You do it to give people a lot of pleasure, uh, just like Rich is doing right now with his display this afternoon. All the guys you're going to watch doing their displays this afternoon, just imagine the level of fitness that you must have, the level of concentration that you must have to be able to do this. Uh, not only maneuvers like that, which are just incredible, and the G-forces involved, huge, uh, but you've also got to comply with the regulations. And believe me, when you start doing this kind of thing, there are a lot of them. 